everybody, Jed Johnson from Diesel Crew here, and what I've got today is a pretty cool review of, of a pretty cool piece of equipment that was sent to me by Richard Soren. If you're not familiar with Sorenex, you need to check them out, Sorenex.com. They have some awesome pieces of equipment that they make that no one else makes. They also outfit some of the nation's largest university gyms. These guys make equipment that is built to last, top quality, and always innovative. And that's something that you're going to hear as a common theme in this review, because this grip machine is different from probably every single grip machine that you've ever seen. So what exactly is this machine called? Well, first off, it's called Pops Grip Machine from Sornex. Several weeks ago, I received an email from Richard, and he said, Hey, we're working on some new products. I'd like to send you one of them to get your information. So I thought that was cool right off the bat that I'd be selected to check one of these things out. A few weeks later, this came in the mail. It comes in three pieces. It's got your main unit here, and then these two standards on the side are attached with two bolts and two nuts. So one, one nut and a bolt here, the washers came with it. Um, so two on this side, two on that side. Took me about five minutes to put together, and I just used two wrenches. Now, if you've seen plate-loaded grip machines before, then you know, you're not going to have any trouble using this device. It's very, very simple. All you need is some weight plates, and you're good to go. So, I'll go ahead and grab a couple of my plates here. These are just my, a couple of my 45s that I had laying around. So, Okay, they go on just like that, so that's 90 pounds. And then it's just like any other grip machine. You take your grip on the handles. There's a top handle that doesn't move, and then a bottom handle that does move. And you just squeeze it up and down. Okay? So the way it works is this piece that sits inside of here travels up and down this track. So if you haven't used one, that really is about what you're going to get in just about every grip machine that's on the market. Lots of companies make these. Here's the thing that sets this piece of equipment apart from all the other ones on the market that I'm aware of. It has connecting, connecting points for bands. Now if you're not familiar with bands, there's also a lot of companies that put bands out as well. These are continuous loop bands. There is no seam. It's one continuous loop. And that's important because they're stronger that way. A lot of bands that were on the market in the past were just one big long strip, then they would overlap and either be glued or stapled together, and then that would be a weak point and eventually they would break. Bands like this hold up much better. Now, if you've seen other bands, for instance, this is a flex band by Jump Stretch. These ones are much longer. You can see they're about probably almost two and a half, three times longer than the Sorenex bands. The length of the Sorenex bands is by design. You see at the bottom of these, of the platform, there are two hooks. One here and one here on this side, one here and then one here on that side. What you're able to do is you can hook bands across there, and then when the band sits here, in order to perform the repetition, then you have to pull against the band itself. So what you have there is what's called accommodating resistance. As you pull, you stretch the band, and when you're stretching the band, it makes the pull harder. So instead of when you perform the repetition, you're just moving the weight, um, at a, you know, a steady, it's a steady weight, so it's 90 pounds here, 90 pounds here, 90 pounds here. With the bands, it's going to be even tougher as you perform the repetition. So why is that important? It's very important. Watch as I'm performing this lift. Now this isn't like a max weight or anything, but for, for some people it might be. 
However, just watch the speed of the bottom handle as I perform the repetition. I'm able to speed up at the top because as I get closer to a closed position around the handles, it's a stronger position for me. So I get momentum coming up off the bottom and I'm able to just smash it, literally smash the bottom handle into the top handle because you get you, you actually are able to attain mechanical advantage once you get up to the top of the range of motion. With the bands, you don't have that. Um, you still have a mechanical advantage in that position. However, the bands are stretching, so you don't pick up that speed at the top. So in order to generate speed, you would have to squeeze even harder. So that's why this machine is so innovative. That's why it's so cool, because in order to finish the range of motion, and in order to make it smash at the top like that, you've got to squeeze much, much harder. So these bands will attach a couple different ways. I'm going to save these green ones for now, and I'm going to go with the red. So the first way, just for demonstrational purposes, the red one is the lightest band that came in the package. Um, a, a red one, a red pair, a purple pair, and a green pair came with the package. Okay, so I set up. And already I can feel a difference. Now, it's not that much difference because it's a lighter band and I'm not near my top level of crushing strength for this machine. I can increase it by using this upper position. There's another hook position right here. So now the bands are stretched a little bit further. Actually, what I want to do is go opposite. So I'm going to hook here on the back side for this one. And then hook up top. So there you go. Now, I tried this earlier. This is the first time I've tried this today. And you would not believe how tough it is, or how much tougher it is, to use these green bands. I didn't even open the purple ones yet. But we'll hook it up. Just the same. On the right side, we'll go in the front. We'll hook up top. It's easier with two hands. On the left, we'll go in the bottom. And we'll hook up top. Now, I was able to perform, I don't know, two or three repetitions pretty easily with the red band. Let's check it out with the green. but it is so much harder with the band resistance. Again, the reason is because as I lift this up higher, I'm stretching the band further. So when you're stretching the rubber band, the further you go, the more resistance that it gives you. That's why it's so much tougher. Now, in, uh, at Mighty Mitts this year, which if you're not familiar, Mighty Mitts is the grip contest that takes place at the Arnold Classic in Columbus, Ohio. We use a machine that was either identical to this or very, very similar. What they, what they did was they, they hooked it up with a, with a sensor here and uh, two lights. So when the handles touched, the, the lights lit up. It was pretty cool. But the main difference was it was positioned like this. So I'm going to take the bands off real quick. And I'm going to try to demonstrate how we did it at Mighty Mets. I think it was pretty much the same machine, only it was elevated up on a cart. Rotated it around, and then we, it was in the medley, so we came from the side, we come over here, up here, and then we brought it up. So you can see that this is a little bit different. With this positioning, my thumb is hooking over the handle. With this position, it's more my palm. My thumb's there, but I end up getting into a position where it's more the base of my palm. And here I can't really get that position. So 
So now there's a little bit of a little bit more of uh, thumb strength that comes into play. So there are a couple of ways that you can use this machine. I believe Richard said that he he made one of these himself when he was younger, and he brought it right into his uh, right into his office and would perform repetitions on this, just seated at his at his desk chair. So this this piece of machinery is awesome. Just like anything that Sorenex puts out, it's high quality, it's nice to look at, it's not an eyesore in your gym. And if you have room for something like this, this may be the way to go. I'm not exactly sure what this is priced at, but it's called Pops Grip Machine, and I am just extremely happy that they selected me as one of the reviewers. Um, I'm going to keep using this over the next few weeks and I'm going to provide any kind of feedback that I might come up with. Again, it's been here for a while, but I've been traveling so much I haven't had the chance to take a look at it yet. But there's the preliminary review. Make sure you subscribe to my channel in a few weeks or in a, in a couple of weeks. I'll have more information about this device. And just before we go, I want to show you something. You know, first off, I have a tremendous amount of respect for Richard. Um, Richard is a pioneer for grip. He's a huge supporter for the sport of grip, just as is his son Bert and all of the crew that works for Sorenex. These guys support grip in ways you couldn't imagine with the work hours and the efforts that go into supporting Mighty Mitts, um, the sponsorship that they send out for various contests. It's pretty much unparalleled in the sport as far as as far as the, the support that they give they give all of us. But like I said I'm very proud to be selected to review this piece of equipment and this is the this is the type of awesomeness from Richard. He actually signed it at the bottom and this is the number two piece of equipment, the prototype of this machine. So I'm happy to say that I'm an owner of a piece of history right here. I think a lot of people are going to like this machine. Please make sure you subscribe. I'll have more information about it as I tinker with it and test out different methods. My brain's already working on, on things that, that I can do with it. All right, thanks a lot for your time and all the best in your training. And again, thanks so much. Bert, Richard, and everyone at Sorenex. Take care.